I thought this uh, Marvel Legends figure of the Silver Samurai would make a really good custom bludgeon from Transformers. Um, so I'm going to take him apart, see what, he, what I can do with him. I've also got uh, a skull head that should fit on it. So far, I think it might be a little bit too big. We'll have a look. And I've also, I've got a, uh, a tank turret, of just as a sort of a, a cheap uh, toy, and uh, that could fit you be used as his arm cannon. So uh, wish me luck. Using a little bit of uh, hot water, I've popped most of his joints out. Um, from his head, I can see that his helmet and his head are a separate piece. Um, this is probably going to uh, need a little bit of um, uh, manipulation to get out. It's, it's probably glued in slightly. But I think I can get that out and then just heat, heat up the helmet and stretch it over the, the skull that I've got. And it should be fairly, it's just a simple, straightforward process of just painting um, orange and purple, the bits that I want. And uh, some bits I will leave grey in touch. I think the legs, the thighs um, can be left grey, the hands left grey. Um, yeah. Torso and this skirt piece, orange, arms purple. Boom. So uh, let's see how it goes. So using hot water and a mild amount of force, I've managed to uh, separate the head from the helmet. So I've got a, a uh, spare helmet. I don't know, <laughs> know what character I could ever use that for in uh, Marvel or G.I. Joe or DC or even Transformers. Um, but there you go, spare head. He's got his helmet now and Straight away, I, I mean, I, I kind of already knew the he the skull I've got is too big for um, this head. No, this is, the skull is too big for this helmet. Um, in fact, it's a, sadly, it isn't too bad, I don't think, but it's, it's sadly, it's just too big for the uh, socket. I mean, I can obviously, I can just fix that with um, uh, blue tack or something of that nature but so what I'm going to have to do is you have to just sort of get my Dremel out trim down his his head a little bit just the back of his skull that's not the end of the world um, and uh, what I might actually do is with some green stuff just re reshape his um, his brow so that it's a bit more uh, scary looking, a bit more angry. Um, I appreciate it. This is being created as a true representation of a skull. But, well, you know, this is, this is the comic book world. This is the toy world. I want him, you know, looking like he's scowling, even in skull form. So, uh, yeah, I need to crack on with that. So this is the uh, head, and you see I've uh, sanded it down using this Dremel tool. Uh, this is a, is it Mecca, this is a Mecca skull. Um, I've got a couple, so here, this is the, what the original was shaped like, so you can see, I've taken an awful lot of product off um, in order to get this helmet to fit nicely. And I think that does fit quite nicely now. So I'm happy with that. It's gonna look quite scary, I think. I started painting uh, the pieces. Oh, hang on. Just had a first wash. I didn't give them an undercoat, which may or may not have been a mistake. I gave them a... Uh, just a, a brush over with uh, a, a green bit of scotch bright. Uh, just give them that key uh, so that the paint could adhere to it. And I will have to go over with a second layer of paint, then a clear coat. 
but and um, the red that I've used has worked better than the orange. The orange, I think it has a translucent base, and so it's um, mm, it's looking a bit sketchy, but hopefully we'll be dry in the morning in a second coat will sort out all those problems. Okay, so I've given all every single colour, every part. I had uh, two coats of paint and then two coats of clear coat. So I've been using um, old Citadel paints just because that's what I had. And for the varnish, I used uh, Valajol. So I, someone else had recommended it to me and actually it's, it's really good stuff. Um, but yeah, so almost, you know, it's dry, almost finished, but obviously it needs a little something something in the form of uh, some Decepticon labels, courtesy of Toy Hacks. Uh, let's just see if I can get one of these. Gosh, they are fiddly. Super small, let's see, look, yeah. So we're gonna get into focus, it's tiny. There we go. All right, I'm gonna one. One on the tank. Oh dear. Slightly off center. One slightly off center on the tank. See if I can shift that across. No, no. It's gonna be slightly off center. <laughs> it, but it's but off center by a fraction. So it's not the end of the world, right? Next one on on his chest. Um, yeah, I quite like the 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 orange because it went over a, uh, a silver because it was the silver samurai. It's got a almost a metallic look to it, which I quite like. That sort of makes sense to me for a, a robot samurai to have a metallic paint finish. Almost. Let me see. What Jesus. I should say, uh, these toy hat stickers are probably um, at the edge of their sell by date just because I've had them for so long. Which might be why I'm having a little bit of trouble with them. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Gonna have to go off center just because there just isn't enough of a flat surface. So it's like a, a metal place. There we go. Looks quite cool. So I painted this uh, Mezco skull that I, I, as I mentioned earlier, I've trimmed down. Painted it in mithril silver from Citadel with their black. It's always got funny names to it. Just a few little accents. But, um, oh, and here's his Silver Samurai's helmet painted up suitably. So I need to fix the two together. So I've got a little bit of um, two part epoxy there. Mixed up, that should be perfect. Um, I've only just put a small dab in his head, that should do. Um, as there's no requirement for it to stay welded forever, it's not going to be on a child's. Get for me, please. Please, hang, hang on, darling. <laughs> Excuse me, yeah. And just hold that in place until it sets. But I think that looks pretty darn good. What do you reckon? Right, I am happy with that. So the next job really is to put the body back together. Now, obviously when I when I disassembled it, I used hot water. 
I don't wish to do that now because it's all covered in paint. So it's dry, but I don't want to risk damaging the paint. So I've got two options. Either I can just use brute strength and fit it, or I can get um, a hair dryer just to warm up the um, nubs, or the nipples, <laughs> if you will. And uh, so I'll try dry fitting. Um, and if that doesn't work, then we'll, 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 yeah, go to the hairdryer. Right, now, um, I suppose other people may be aware of this. This is new to me. So, all of the, you know, you might not be able to see it. All of the left-sided bits have an L, whereas the right-sided bits have an R, which is really useful for putting it back together. So, um, yeah, thank you, Hasbro. You got that one right. Let's just see... Nope, I think that's going to need heating up. Yeah. <laughs> Bear with me, this will need heating. Okay, I was putting the figure back together and I suddenly noticed I'd done something wrong. Um, so it's getting there. Looks alright, okay. <laughs> Can I realise... That is on back to front, and then I turn his legs around. He's then got his legs back to front. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, start again. Okay, one of the problems with this is the Mezco head, the hole is much bigger than the uh, Marvel Legends neck piece. So I've got a little bit of Play-Doh. Now I think if I just mould that on there neatly and put that on, that should sit nicely. And so Play-Doh dries in the air. I don't know if you've, well, I'm sure you, some of you will have played with Play-Doh. It goes hard if you leave it out of the pot for too long. So that should dry nicely and he'll, you know, it'll have m mobility, but it'll st it'll still be a ball and socket joint, if you, if you get my, my meaning. Here he is, my finished bludgeon. <laughs> After all this time, I couldn't really actually remember his, blood, his name. So he's, he's got it. Oh, his, uh, I just realised his uh, Decepticon decal has come off his chest. That must have happened whilst I was uh, doing all the heating to get these bits together. Um, he's still got one on his tank gun that uh, just clips on his wrist nicely. That was the, that clip that's holding his wrist was the clip that held the turret to the original tank of the uh, little Corgi toy. So it didn't really need um, much altering at all. Now, uh, joints, it's all still work despite being painted. Um, yeah, and I'm just very happy with them. Looking forward to throwing him in some poses. And, uh, yeah, I think he looks pretty damn awesome. <laughs>